Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, I thought I'd do an unboxing video for you today. And of course, we're going to, in the same video, set it up on my uh, tablet, because that's what I bought this keyboard for. Um, it's a Bluetooth keyboard by Nextech. I picked this up at the source. Uh, it's on sale for uh, $24.99, so I figured mm, I could use a keyboard on it, and I wanted something small. And the Bluetooth is kind of nice, and I've got Bluetooth on my tablet, so... Um, now, this keyboard apparently works on uh, PCs, laptops, smartphones, tablets. Um, you got to have at least Bluetooth 3.0 for it, apparently, according to the box specifications. Bluetooth 3.0. Um, it has scissor low profile keys, 78 key design, PC and Mac compatible, supports Windows 2000, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, OS 10. Uh, requires two AAA batteries, no problem there. We also got batteries on sale for about 12 bucks, so we bought a big pack of uh, Energizer Max. I needed a whack load of AAAs anyhow, so uh, let's uh, open up the box here. I don't want to need a knife. So, now this thing comes with a one year warranty uh, at the source, so if anything happens within the year, I can uh, just take it back in, straight exchange over the counter, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, so we've got a little pamphlet with this thing, tells us a little bit about compatibility and, uh, oh, if Full specs, Bluetooth 2.0 and 3.0. The box on the back said 3.0, so that could be a good thing either way, because I'm pretty sure I've got like Bluetooth 4 anyways on my tablet, so I'm not too worried. But so Bluetooth 2.0 and 3.0 compatible. Um, working range is within 10 meters from your device. Um, mobile system requirements. Must have built-in Bluetooth function. Works on an iPhone 4, Nokia S6.0, version 3.0 or above, Windows Mobile. So, oh, Google Android compatible with human interface device as well. So, that's bonuses all the way around here. Okay, so let's uh, install the batteries. Got an on and off switch on the back here as well as a connect button. And uh, we'll get our batteries open. Simple. There we go. Batteries are in. On and off switch. Well, looks like we've got power. Light indicator is on. Okay, so we're going to stop the uh, video here. I'll fire up my tablet and uh, we'll uh, take it through the connection on uh, connecting it up and uh, continue on. Okay guys, we're back and uh, we're going to uh, power up the keyboard and set up our Bluetooth connection for it. And I gotta figure out how I did this again. Settings. Settings. Let's try. Just bear with me, guys. It's been a while since I've been playing around with this stuff. Looks 
manager. So our keyboard is definitely not active. Two settings. Bluetooth is on. Oh, keyboard. is the passcode into your Bluetooth keyboard. Center. So I'm going to write this down. pointless to type out the password. So still setting something up here, so we'll just let it go. Bluetooth device not discoverable. Your Bluetooth radio is turned on but is not discoverable. Only those devices that are paired, your computer can see it. Click to change the setting. Google. It's all good. So, looks like our keyboard works good. 
Uh, one thing very interesting is the battery light, I guess, goes off once it's set up. I don't know what that's about, but uh, push a button. I guess it's going to go on again if my batteries are low, maybe. That's the idea behind that one. I'll have to check the uh, instructions here pretty quick. This is actually something, guys, extremely new to me. I've never messed with Bluetooth devices before in my life, so it's uh, definitely interesting. Okay, the, the, after the keyboard has been sitting idle for 35 minutes, the keyboard will enter sleep mode. Press any key to wake up the keyboard. Note the first key you press will wake the keyboard. The second key you press will be active. keyboard is when the keyboard is reactivated it automatically reconnects itself to the Bluetooth system this process may take from less than a second up to a minute depending on the system environment during reconnect mode the connect indicator LED flashes so that's going to be up here where the battery is I guess um, Until the keyboard and system connection is established, the keyboard goes through the same process every time the computer and Bluetooth device are powered on. This is not an error, it is the nature of Bluetooth. The LED indicator flashes red when the battery power is low, oh, and of course when you initially turn it on. Um, Place both batteries at the earliest opportunity to prevent power interruption. Uh, pretty basic, straightforward stuff. Um, they get into the F keys and how you operate your F keys, which is the same as any keyboard. Um, full one year warranty from the date of purchase. So even though the box says Bluetooth 3.0 on the back, the instruction sheet here does say Bluetooth 2.0 and 3.0 compatible. PC and Mac compatible, scissor, low profile keys, we talked about that at the beginning. 78 key design, color LED working status indicator, built in intelligent power management software for power conservation. Uh, supports Windows 2000, XP Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, I'm actually running 8.1 and Mac OS 10 working range is within 10 meters so that's decent that's like 33 feet away I don't think I'd be seeing my screen at 33 feet away not this one anyway two AA bat two AAA batteries not included um, your device must have a built-in Bluetooth function the mobile operating system should be one of the following Google Android compatible with human interface device uh, HD profile built-in modes only, Windows Mobile 6.0 or above, uh, Nokia Symbian S60 version 3.0 or above, iPhone 4.0, and that's for the mobile system requirements. Computer or laptop uh, HTPC system requirements, Bluetooth enabled Windows 98 ME 2000 XP Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Bluetooth enabled Mac OS. Um, tells you how to actually set it up uh, with your different OS's. Tells you how to install the batteries. You know, no brainer there. So that's your basics, guys. And uh, it's very um, lightweight, very thin. It's a lot like a Mac keyboard, actually. When you look at the design form factor of it, it's very much like a, an Apple keyboard. And uh, it's built-in stand. It's on a nice angle, which I like because I can just sit here and type, you know, and uh, have fun with that. Um, but I, I, it's not that I'm totally against the screen that's built into these things. It's for my purposes, my tablet, um, the only time 
I'm going to take it off the dock is when I take it out to my shop to work on a snowblower or somebody's car, that sort of thing. Um, then I have my tablet fully portable and I use my built-in keyboard because um, I don't want to haul this around. But when it's stationary on my table here and I have other programs that I'm running on it for in the house with, I wanted to have a keyboard and this thing retails for about 50 bucks and it was on sale for $24.99 so I really couldn't pass up that deal. And I've been kind of hemming and hawing about this thing um, for several weeks, in fact. And uh, I finally decided to bite the bullet and get it. And, you know, so far uh, it seems all right. Um, I like the keys because they're a lot like my, my main laptop keyboard. Um, you know, so it's pretty nice that way. I've got my mouse also. Uh, on my tablet for in-house use, you know. Oh, for some reason it just, uh, I guess it was sitting too long. It's flashing for some reason or another. Turn it off. Oh, there we go. I guess it was just sitting idle. It was going into a sleep or something, but a little early for 35 minutes worth. Uh, I'll have to check some settings there. Um, but, uh, yeah, share settings, control panel. Nope, get back here. Settings, control panel. Um, should have. I think I had it in the power saver mode. I think I turned that back on on the computer, and that's separate from the keyboard. I always turn off power saver modes on stuff because it drives me nuts. Um, devices, printers. Uh, it goes this way, desktop. Uh, search. Boot to settings. Connected. No, I can stay. Devices. Um, power and sleep. Never. Just brightness on. I'll have to mess with this a little bit more because I got to get, get back into the keyboard um, setups, but. I mean, so far, I mean, it's working really well. Um, get rid of this window, get rid of that window. Um, so let's do a general search. Save. Radio. So it works fine like a regular keyboard, so. You know, no problems there. Uh, images. Uh, so, so far, I'm happy with it. Like I said, I got to get back into the functions. I'll mess with that and I'll update you as per to, you know, so it doesn't go to sleep too early. Um, but uh, otherwise, so far so good. Um, I'm gonna play with this thing for uh, over Christmas time and into January. So probably, you know, sometime in January or February, I'll give you guys an update on this thing and uh, you know let you know how it's doing and any problems I found with it, if any, you know, and so on. But so far seems all right. Seems uh, like the, I got my 25 bucks worth for sure. So, um, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um, 
like I said, for me, like I said, there's a bit of a, you know, setting it up thing. I, I've never played with Bluetooth until now, so something new, so, you know, a bit of a noob there, but, you know, I'll get used to it, I'm sure. Um, but, um, anyhow, uh, leave your comments, uh, you know, if you've tried this keyboard, let us know how it's worked out for you, and, uh, we'll see you in the next video.